everybody, my name is Miss Molly. I am an intuitive psychic medium right here on the mediumship coming straight at you from Coconut Grove, Florida. Hello, welcome in Charlene, Mila, and KB. Howdy, welcome to my boat, the mediumship. As I said before, I'm an intuitive psychic medium. I do everything, tarot and oracle. I help people find lost items. Uh, mediumship. We play musical mediumship on here. Uh, we do readings. We do all kinds of fun stuff. So if you've never seen me before, uh, feel free to ask any questions about my history, what I do, why I do it, how I know things. We talk about paranormal stuff, aliens, cryptids, you name it. We'll talk about it. Law of attraction. I have recently moved on to a catamaran wildcat 35 boat here in Miami. Oh, the wind is blowing up. This is a porthole. There's wind blowing in right now. I'm looking out the window. I can see Miami from my seat right here in the salon of my boat. Um, here I am. Hi, Mama Cass. So, who's here tonight? And my subscribers, by the way, if you're a subscriber, you get special treatment. Speaking of, I think I just saw a subscriber jump in there. Who is that? Anyway, let's get on it. So, uh, I've been living on the boat now for... I guess we're close to two weeks, two weeks, perhaps still getting used to it. It's very sticky and hot. We had a storm today and then it was sunny and then a storm and then, you know, it goes back and forth. Um, we've been doing some work on the boat. It's, it needs a lot of work, but it's, it's a great boat and the dogs are doing great and all's well. So I finally got on a live. So if you guys have, uh, questions, things you want to ask about being a psychic medium, I'd be happy to answer about your development or experiences you've had, paranormal stuff. I can tell you guys stories. We can do some demonstrations, whatever you wish. Foley, finding our lost items. I get a lot of requests for that. Nobody's saying anything. Guys, don't feel afraid. Speak up. Cash. Disney girl. Did you know I used to work at Disneyland? I was the fairy godmother for Cinderella back in like 95. I was the first one ever to walk around the park like that as a face character. So, a little history for you, Disney people. Hey, Jerry Lynn, how are you? Long time no see is right, dear. Uh, I've been living on a boat. I'm on the boat right now. Matter of fact, Jerry Lynn, since I haven't seen you in so long. Hi, Jack Moon. Uh, let me go pull some cards for you, Jerry Lynn. Here we go. Let's get this party going. Anybody do anything fun for Halloween? Anybody come up with any good costume ideas or cool things to do? Let's see what we got here for my friend. For my friend. Okay. Let's see what we got for you. All right. All right, Jerry Lynn. Let's see what we got from the love. We'll do a couple tarot cards for you, lovey. Love it. I'm still in Florida, yes. Spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies. I am pulling cards for Jerry Lynn. Jerry, I'm on a boat. Remember, I live on the boat now. So, yes, I'm still in Florida. Because that's where I live. On a boat. Full time. I know, crazy, right? All right, Jerry Lynn, here's what I got for you, sweetie. You got three pentacles to start out with. Your energy is about expansion and growth, and also your creative expression. Uh, the pentacles are abundance, finance, career, sometimes stability. And you can see she's got money on her mind. Pretty basic. I think maybe you've been wondering, like, are there ways, other ways I can either save money, make my dollars go further, make money, you know, side hustle, whatever it is. I feel like maybe that's something you've been thinking about a little bit. The Knight of Cups comes in upside down. So Knights are generally a change in energy. Cups are love relationships and partnerships. It came in upside down, which to me is not an opposite. It means this is an important card to the reading. As I look at this card upside down, all that I notice is the polka dots. The polka dots on the cup, the polka dots on his legs, polka dots on the tarot represent playfulness, having fun. And so I feel like if you're thinking of ways to change the way that your finances are, whether you, like I said, stretching the dollar, making extra money, most important factor is make sure it's fun. You're having fun doing it. You're not, it's not drudgery. It's not forced on you. You're having fun. Because lastly, we get the page of pentacles. Also, pages are about learning a lot of the time, sometimes about a younger energy, a more youthful energy or a new idea. Pentacles, again, career, finance, stability. Look, she's looking at a book. She's learning. So I feel like maybe um, you're not even sure what, what resource you're going to use to possibly 
you know, expand your knowledge so that you can make more money. But I do feel like have fun with it. Look at things that interest you. If, you, if you're crazy about, let's say, dogs, look up, see what, what people are doing with dogs. Maybe ways you could do that. If you're crazy about needle pointing, maybe find a way to use your needle point to make money. But those are what I, that's what I feel. It has to be something you're excited about. It can't just be any old job like, oh, I'll just work at Walmart. Don't do that to yourself. Okay? That was your read. Pretty, pretty solid. April Gush would like some cards. Absolutely love. Here's the thing, you guys. By the way, if you're a subscriber, I will absolutely pull cards for you. I will pull cards for you. I will do whatever I can to help you. She says, that's really interesting. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Jerry Lynn. Hey, uh, hi, Louie. All right. So, um, April. I got a few cards for you, darling. Ooh, you got some. Wow. What? April. Hey, April, this is really good. You got two aces and one reading right next to each other. That's huge. I'll explain why. Starting out, you got strength card number eight. Eight means take action, be strong. So I feel like there's something about to come into your energy, April, that you're a little bit intimidated by. Could be a job offer. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Or some type of an opportunity, and you're like, I don't know if I can handle that. If it hasn't already happened, it will in the next few weeks. Um, and you're, you're doubting your expertise. You're doubting yourself. Look at her. She's got all those coins behind her, but she's sitting there acting like she's poor. She's not. You have the wrong self-perception. You believe that you're not capable. You believe you can't do it. Yeah, yeah, you can. And here's the reason why. You got two blessings, darling. Two blessings. You got both the pentacles and the cup. Fulfillment, love, opportunity, finance, career, stability. Yeah. You got a big thing coming, dear. Don't blow it by don't blow it by talking yourself out of it. Worst thing that happens is you try it and you fail. But guess what? If you don't try it, you 100% fail. So I feel like when you get two aces like this right next to each other in a reading, right after I said to you, I feel like this is about a career possible career opportunity for you. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. That's all I got to say to you. Don't blow it. If it comes along, you'll recognize it. Take it. Carrie says, well, me and my three-year-old live a better life away from David. I'm not going to come from a psychic perspective. I'm going to come from a woman to woman perspective. If you have to live away from somebody, the answer is yes. If you made the point of taking your three year old and living somewhere else, that ain't an answer from spirit. I don't know what it is. That's the end of the song. <laughs> All right. So that was for you, April, by the way, that was your reading. Lewis says, Louis says, I'm in an unknown land right now. Please, I need some un insight. An unknown land. Are you saying that as symbolically or you actually don't know where you are? Because I do find lost items. How is boat life? Look at me. Look how tan I am. It's great. I love it. I'm on the boat right now. You are talking to me straight from the mediumship, John. Love it. Happiest of urban. All right. So. So that is my perspective about you moving away with your three-year-old. Yoga mom, three, three, three. Sharon says, will I be able to move out soon? Wait. Will I be able to move out soon? I'm living with ex and kids. Are you able? Yeah, you're able. You can move out right now. Right? You can go in your bedroom and pack a bag and leave right this very second. You can turn off this TikTok and go leave right now. So yes, you're able to. Are you going to? I don't know. Are you? What's best for you? What's best for your children? That's what you do. And if you don't know how, you get help. There are people that will help you. I don't know the situation, but if anybody's in danger, you better get your ass out of there. That's all I gotta say. And that has zero to do with me. Psychic, that's due with, I have been in abusive relationships before. You don't stick around, especially if you have children. You don't want them to learn that. You don't want them to think that's the way it is. Okay? If you guys are fighting, they don't need to see that either. Oh, Louis says, symbolic. I got you, yeah. Can you pull a card for me, please? User, I would need a name at least, user, please. If I was going to pull anything for you, no danger. Well, that's good to know. Should I get back together with an extra move on? I don't know. Do you puke and eat your puke again? And that sounds gross. It is gross. Don't go back to an ex. That's my opinion. I've done it. I've done it three or four times in my life. And every single time I wish I hadn't. I think it's a bad idea. You went to all the trouble to leave and, and divorce or, or split up. And you thought about all that you went through to get to that point, why would you reverse? That's all I'm saying. It's because I love you. It's not because I'm being mean. I'm glad you're not in danger of yoga. Of course you're capable. Of course you are. Lost item? Sure, John. Do you have a lost item? Especially for subscribers. If you're a subscriber, you're going to get more from me. Going back really works out. That's right. 
nobody changes unless they want to. So, um, boat life's great. I'm on the boat right now. You can probably hear all the banging around in the background. So John's missing his Ray-Bans. What color are they, John? Black, red, tortoise shell. Um, and when's the last time you saw him? Or you remember seeing him or wearing him? That's all I need from you. So if some of you have never seen me before, we've got 79 people in here. Um, I am also what we call Foley. Hi, Birdie. Finder of lost items. Birdie, you still owe me a testimonial, remember? You didn't really, you said you made one, but no, all you do is comment on something. It's not a testimonial. Thank you, Louie. Let me explain what a testimonial is, you guys. Okay? Before I jump into... It's great. I'm on it right now. Before I jump into looking for John's lost glasses. Um, what I do is I help people find things. Okay? But part of the deal is I ask that you guys, if you find the item, please post a testimonial. What a testimonial is, it's a short little video saying, Hey, Miss Molly found my tarot cards. I'm so glad. She was terrific. I went on her live and she found my cards. That's all you have to do. It can be two seconds. It can be a video of a picture of the item you found and all you do is a voiceover or even words on the screen. Miss Molly found my watch. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking you guys. I don't charge. So you're going to find that if you find, if I find something for you and you don't post the video and you don't do what you said you were going to do, I probably won't be doing that pretty much more. It's only fair. It's an exchange of energy, right? I'm not trying to be a jerk, but that's only fair to me because it does take my energy. It wears me out. I know it doesn't look that way to you guys. You go, oh, she's just talking. No, I have to tune into energy. Imagine that. Imagine a microwave going through you all the time. It's a lot. All right. I lost my freedom. Can you tell me where I'll find it? It's right inside you, Sharon. Again, you're keeping yourself where you are. Nobody else. Okay. It says gold frame, black lenses about two weeks ago. Gold as in metallic right? Okay. Ray-Bans. Lost two weeks ago for John. Okay. If you've never seen me do this, I do a three, two, one countdown. I will explain it to you. You guys are welcome to do it with me. It does help me find things faster and easier. I breathe in through my nose, hold my breath for a few seconds, breathe out through my mouth, and I see the number three, three times in my mind. I also say in my mind, three, three, three. It's okay, Birdie. I know, sweetie. That's why I was explaining it. And then I do it again with the number two, and then I do it again with the number one, and then I'm there. Interested to know where I'll be moving to when ready, says Lady Linda. I'd be interested too. All right, let's move on. Okay, so last item for John. Okay, I, I didn't even finish breathing, John. Did you go meet somebody uh, at a cafe, like a coffee place for lunch or for coffee or something, like a friend, a male friend? Because I see, uh, I'm seeing like a little coffee house. Um, so what I saw was, I don't know what you look like, but in my mind, I think it's you folding the wallet and then putting it away. And the glasses were set down somewhere. By the way, if you answer me, make sure you put a green heart. Cause I try not to look at the comments while I'm working with other people. And if I see a green heart, I know it's you because the camera's far away from me. I have to kind of focus in. Oh, he says, no, I last remember I had them on a walk with my dog. Okay. That's okay. Um, for some reason it's showing me a coffee place. So I feel like it's related to that. And I saw you closing your wallet and putting it in a, I want to say back pocket. I'm not sure if it's a side or back, but either way, um, when you come in the house, do you have like an area where you put your keys and all that kind of stuff? Because I kind of feel like you were on your way to go meet some somebody. Okay, this is what I feel. And you, I want to say, I don't know where coffee is. Maybe you had a cup of coffee at the time. I don't know. But you were leaving or you were going, so you set the glasses down. Obviously. But you put them in a place you don't normally put them. Um, I feel like they fell. All right. So do you have a place again? I'm talking to specifically, um, John, do you have a place when you walk in your house where you put your stuff, like your wallet and your keys and all that stuff? I feel like it was, they were there and I feel like they fell off. So I don't know why. And I, I'm really shooting in the dark on this one. Is there an urn or an umbrella stand or something that 
is big enough for them to fall into by that table by the front door or, or wherever it is you put your stuff. Might be a dresser, I don't know. Or a trash can. Some cylindrical container near the end of wherever you put your stuff. Yes, right by the front door alt. Okay, so something near the table, it is in that. Whether it be a plant, something cylindrical of a container, I feel like it fell down in there. Now, here's the other thing, you guys. Buy the coffee maker. Okay, so look in those places, please. Here's the thing. When I tell you where to look for stuff, um, it isn't always exactly where I said, but as you go to look for it, often you will find it. As a matter of fact, the last person I helped find sunglasses, the same thing. I said, I feel like it's on a mantle. I'm looking on a mantle. I see a plant. And I kept saying, and he goes, no, no, no. And then he, he disappeared for a while. And he comes back and goes, actually, yes, there's a plant on my mantle. It was right, yes, where you said. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so Ashanta says, let me know, John. Remember, you got to let me know if you find it. Go look if you want right now. I don't care. Ashanta says, I lost a pair of black glasses, I think, a year ago. Okay, I need more information that. You need to let me know what they look like. I have to be able to visualize. Kelsey says, if I want a three-card pull and have a topic in mind, is it better to share or see if it comes up organically? Um, personally, I like to just see what comes up, but it's up to you. Either one's fine. I don't usually pick things. Yeah, that's fine, Birdie. I love that. That'd be great. Alrighty. Um, I can only work with one person at a time, so guys, please be patient with me. I'll do my best to get as many as you as I can. Again, as I said, subscribers get top treatment. So if you're a subscriber, even if I have somebody else in line, you go, you go next. So just so you know, that's how I work it. Uh, I'll see. So Kirsty says, starting a new teaching job Monday. I'm nervous to start late. How will it go? Kirsty, I have zero worries about you. None at all. You're going to be fine. Matter of fact, you're going to have one of the best first days you've ever had. I already feel it. I could tell you right now, it's going to be the best first day you've ever had. Like, it's going to go by so quick, you're going to go, wow, what happened today? And you're going to go, oh yeah, Molly said that. I know it for a fact. I'm not just saying that to blow smoke up your butt. All right. So, the other person who wanted a three-card pull was Kelsey. Kelsey, let's get you a three-card card pull then, dear. Yeah, I'm glad for you. All right. Let's go with Kelsey. Kelsey wanted three cards. She asked very nicely. Kelsey, I'm going to go ahead and pull Oracle cards for you, love. That's what I feel. If you want to ask a specific question, it's up to you. But make sure you put a green heart when you're answering me so that I know you're answering me. Otherwise, I, know, I don't notice everybody else's comments when I'm working with somebody else usually. So I try not to do that because it does distract me. <laughs> oh, wow. I got this card that every time I get it, for some reason, gets under my skin. I mean, I like the card, but there's something about it that's not right. Hi, Flo. Welcome in, dear. Yay. Okay, Kelsey. Cool. That is so funny. This card that comes up, it always cracks me up. And I'm going to be, I'm curious if it applies to you. I mean, it has to. Okay. So first card you got was making a choice. All right. Number three, three energies about expansion, zero energies, anything goes. Okay. Um, and making a choice, pretty basic, right? So I feel like maybe you had a sp very specific question in mind and you're wondering which is right. Correct. But you're clever. You got the fox. This is that card that always gets under my skin. I'll explain to you why after I read it. Okay. Fox, clever. Here's what it says. You are swift and smart. It says, uh, solutions to problems are easily found. And what do you do? You have a choice to make. Always listen to your instincts. That's what else it says. But the last line, resources surround you. I just said that to somebody else a minute ago about resources, didn't I? The yoga mom. Be open to romance. Now, that's the part of this card I really don't understand. Zero to do with being clever. Zero to do with a fox. Be open to romance. Why? I don't know. Kimmy says, when I first came across your page, I thought you were Kate Hudson. <laughs> I'm sure you get that often. I do. I do get that. And I even read, wrote her a note and said, hey, everybody says I look like you. But I don't know. She doesn't seem interested. Your last card, though, I got for you, Kelsey, was you've got tech type. That's a mineral or or or, or a stone or whatever you want to call it that would help you right now. This raises your vibratory level, your vibration. Um, and so this is something that connects you to your higher spirit. This is when you're looking for more of a universal connection. And so you said... What did you say? You said, uh, open to romance, not sure how that applies, but I'm here for it. Okay, gotcha. And maybe that's why that comes up. Maybe it's part of the whole thing. Maybe that romance that might show up for you 
will help you make this decision, right? Maybe it's all connected in some weird way, but I, every time I get this card, I go, what in the heck is that all about? But usually it makes sense later on. So I feel like you're trying to rely on your instinct to make a decision, but you're kind of not sure of yourself. I kind of feel like what makes you feel the happiest? Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the location. Don't worry about the time it takes or anything else. Whatever surrounds that situation, how does it make you feel? That's going to give you the answer. If you feel happy and excited, that's the right choice. Not so sure, not the right choice. If both choices not sure, maybe neither one. She says, I did have a specific idea related to a choice and I have an instinct, but not for sure. Happiest, yes, that's what I need to hear. Thank you. Yes, happy is everything. I'm learning that, you guys. You guys watch me. You go, God, you look so happy. You know why? Because I make choices according to how I feel, not what everybody tells me. Do you know how many people try to talk me out of, of getting on a boat? Ashanta says, could you see where I get a remote job from? Yeah, let me see if I can. I've never tried to do that, but I can try. Um, but back to Kelsey before I answer you, Ashanta. Um, what was I saying to you? Um, yeah, I, I, I have people try to talk me out of living on a boat. Oh, it's expensive. A boat's a hole in the water. You dump money. Oh, yeah. What about storms? What about hurricane? What about the dog? What about, what about, what about, what about? What about fuck off? Part of my language. I get tired of people quashing people's dreams. You know how many times I want to do something really exciting and I didn't do it because somebody told me I shouldn't? Stop doing that. Let me find out for myself. Fuck off! Sorry, I don't usually use those words, but I had to say it. I had to say it. Right? Own it. Own your life. It's nobody else's life. It's yours. All right. So Ashanta want to know where her remote job might be? Her next job location? Let me, let me focus on you for a minute, okay? This is for Ashanta. Let me get my pen and paper. I feel like I need to... Texas. Texas. Felice says, I'm the one who talks myself out of stuff. I do that too. Steph says, I want to get an RV and travel, but I'm scared. Scared of what? Why are you scared? Buy the damn thing and travel. You hate it, you sell it, and you stop doing it. You love it, guess what? You just made your life better. Pretty basic. Jessica, will Lauren and I ever fix things and reconcile the relationship? I don't usually do yes, no questions, to be honest with you. But I can pull cards for you later if you want. Will I get a job offer soon? Selena, will Anthony and I reconcile? Okay, guys, stop with the yes, no questions. I usually don't do those. You know why? Because it's not my job to go yes, no. If you want to do that, go buy a magic eight ball. Really. You guys have to make your own decisions. I'm not here to make decisions for you. And I'm saying it because I love you. It's not my choice. What's right for me isn't right for you. Okay, but I can tune in and help you. I'm doing cards now. Would you like a card, Courtney? Courtney's a subscriber. She gets cards. Right now, Courtney. You're a subscriber. Polka dots is a validation, which was wild. Why is that wild, Kelsey? Why are the polka dots wild? Tell me. And I'm going to pull for Courtney. Right now. You know why? Because she's a subscriber. And I know some of you are going, well, stop pushing the subscriber thing. But you guys, guess what? That's the only way I make money right now. Unless you do a private reading with me, I don't charge on these lives anymore. Have you noticed that? Yeah. No, Monica, you don't need a question. You're a subscriber, right? So you get cards. But. But. Courtney's first. Then Monica. Courtney? I just got to write it down real soft. Forget the order. Okay, so Courtney, when I'm talking to you, please make sure you use a green heart so I know you, okay? All right, here we go. For Courtney, let me break this pile into three piles. Yeah. This is for Courtney. Spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies. Any cards today? For Courtney. And by the way, spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies. What does that spell, gang? What does that spell? Whoever answers me first, I will pull a card for you. Spirits, ancestors, guides, energies. What does that spell and why do I say that? Take a guess. You actually got four cards, Courtney. Let's go with it. Felice got it. Amanda got it. Sage, you're right. Sage. That's how we sage. Okay, so Amanda gets card. After Courtney and then Monica gets cards. Oh, let's see. I don't think I have a... 
I don't think I have a, a moderator tonight, do I? Courtney, yeah, you guys got it. Good job. Okay, so for Courtney, you got the star. The star is all about hope and also balance. Look at, she's pouring on the land while she pours in the water. Water is emotion. This is a balance of emotion, but also hope and excitement, like something really good you're waiting for. Um, Knight of Swords comes in really fast. Knight of Swords, one of the fastest moving. Big change in energy, truth, ideas. I think you're going to have an aha moment. That's what I feel. And when you do, guess what? You're going to get that wanderlust. Courtney, you're going to feel like traveling. If you haven't already planned a trip right now, you're about to. Why not? You're ready. You are ants in the pants. You want to go. But we do have the five of cups. And I feel like you've been healing from something, Courtney. But, you know, his back is to the cups that are up. He's only looking at these spilled cups. It's time to, to turn around. Really. Okay, turn around. This is your life. Again, not a dress rehearsal, Courtney. You are ready to move. Do it. Go. Go. Go enjoy yourself. Hey, Shark the Golden. She's a new subscriber. I'll be with you in a minute, honey. Okay. So that was for you, Courtney. Appreciate the subscription so much. I will absolutely pull something for you, my dear. But Amanda gets a card because she gets Sage. Amanda, I'm going to pull from Spirit of the Animals. Hey, Laws, how are you? There's my moderator. Oh, I love this card because I love the Puffin. You got the Puffin, Amanda, for helping me out with that Sage. Puffin. Partnership. Here's what it says. Accept yourself and your colorful, colorful personality. I know you got a colorful Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. That's pretty clear. I don't think I have to explain that at all. Right? Hey, Kells Bells, another subscriber. Kells Bells gets a card too. Or cards, plural. All right, Monica's next. She's a subscriber. Okay, Monica, we're going to pull. So, Monica, do you want, I should have asked this before and I'm sorry I didn't. You can have a musical mediumship, you can have cards, or a foley, find your lost items. What would you prefer? Cool, Amanda, glad you like it. Angela, I'll be with you in a minute, honey. Cards, okay. I'm gonna pull from this deck. This deck is a crazy deck. It's magical in my opinion, I'm not gonna lie. Found at a thrift store for a couple dollars, brand new in the box, everything. For some reason, this, this deck, if it tells me when to use it. I know that sounds weird, I almost never use it, but it tells me when it wants me to use it. It's always spot the heck on. So it said, use me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trust it. Man, it's sticky here, you guys. We had a lot of rain today. We were going to go into this um, boat salvage. Oh, my cards are all messed up. Sorry, guys. We're going to go into this boat. Oh, sorry. Let me fix these. Boat salvage yard, and then the rain looked bad, and we were like, eh. We, I'm glad we stayed behind. We're going to do it tomorrow. We want to get some parts for the boat with some other people. We met some nice people here, you guys. Really nice, helpful people I made friends with. That's kind of nice. You know, you move to a new spot. And, you know, we're all moored near each other, but we don't all know each other. We're just starting to get to know our neighbors here. Okay, this is for Monica. I'm having a hard time shuffling tonight. I've got about 50 people right on. Okay. So Monica and then Shark is a new subscriber. Get something and then Kel's Bells. So think about it, Shark. Think about it, Kells Bells, or anyone else who wants a reading. Are you wanting a finder of lost items? Foley, we call it. Are you wanting cards? Or are you wanting um, a mediumship song? Musical mediumship, which has been a hit, you guys. It's been so fun. We've had a great time with that. Oh, you did, Birdie. Don't apologize. You're awesome. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for that, Birdie. Appreciate you so much. All right, I'm working on for Shark right now. Shark, if you wouldn't mind giving me a green heart in your first name, I'd appreciate it. So I, I know you're here and I see who you are. This is for Shark. First card you got, my favorite of the entire deck. And God only knows the future. That's, yeah, okay. Uh, Angela, that's it. All right, Angela. Thank you, darling. You probably already told me that. I'm sorry for that. It took me a minute. Oh, what a great reading. Already, you got four cards. First of all, I got the Empress. My favorite. I love the Empress. Monica, did I just read for you, doll? That's who I'm reading for, right? Oh, crap. I'm reading for Monica. I'm reading for Monica. Excuse me. Shark, you're next. I crossed you out before I was done. This is for Monica. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, you need help. Okay, so you want a Foley. Okay, I'll be with you in a second, Shark. I'm so sorry about that, Angela. I got confused for a second. 
That's why I need my moderators, because I get confused. Okay, this is from Monica, excuse me. Monica. I said that in the beginning, and then I brain went somewhere else. Sorry about that, honey. All right, Monica, give me a green heart when I'm talking to you. Empress, my favorite card of all. She is about expansion. She is about glowing up, connecting to nature. Her feminine energy is going crazy. Expansion, all these things. Sometimes pregnancy, if you're trying to get pregnant, this is also a good card. Um, who's that? Birdie, yeah, you'll be, you'll be your subscriber too. Just give me a minute. Okay, so moving on with Monica. Okay, so Monica, Empress is a great start. This means you're glowing up a little bit. You're starting to kind of take better self-care, starting to feel a little more confident, better about yourself. And guess what then happens? Knight of Wands comes in. That's a change in energy. Wands are about your dreams, your hopes, your desires, your passions. I feel like with, with that glow up, so is your confidence. Like I said, you're going to start feeling really good about yourself. Like, wow, I really could do more than I thought. Like it's really going to change how you appear to people. But here's the best part. Then you get the Queen of Wands. Like really, you're about to manifest some major stuff. Like you are in manifestation mode right now. She is all about making things happen. Look, it's like a magic wand, right? Aren't these cards great, by the way? Um, and so I feel like this is just a very ripe time for you. If you take the good self-care, like, you know, hi, Hannah, dress up, you know, take care of yourself, treat yourself well, eat healthy, sleep, all the things you're supposed to be doing. I feel like there's something you're going to actually create, like some, some idea, something you're going to manifest, maybe something you hadn't thought about before, but you're going to feel very inspired, I feel. And then guess what happens? The sun. And Saturday, you guys, there is an eclipse. And so I feel like this is very significant. So the sun is always about clarity, happiness, happy ending, happy outcome, and new beginnings. So hi, Leslie. God, everybody's jumping in. Hey, girl. Leslie Fear, amazing author interior designer and most of all a wonderful podcaster her show because i want to know you guys please follow her she's amazing i've been on her show a couple times so you got the sun is your last card love this is really a great reading so i feel like this is about you really coming into your own it's the best way to bottom line you're there so take advantage of october it's a good month for you all right that was for monica shark angela wanted to find something angela go ahead and remind me what it was i was finding for you yeah, yeah, more of my subscribers. So, uh, Angela, tell me what it was I'm finding for you, honey. Spot on, says Monica. Good. I want to see you in the stars. My hair is a mess. I didn't even try to style my hair. My grandma's wed wedding band, please. Is it just a plain gold band? Uh, Angela, I need to know. It, what does it look like? Gold, silver? What color is the band? Does it have any writing? Any diamonds? What? I need to be able to visualize it in my mind, you guys. Don't just tell me a band. A band. you got to tell me more. Also, if there's an inscription in it, and how long ago do you think you lost it? That's all I need to know, or where it was, or where you were when you noticed it was gone. Please. Gold with, see, now there, there's a description. Gold with five small diamonds, old. White gold surrounds it. No, 22 years ago? You lost it 22 years ago, you think? Oh, you think you lost it in the house. Yeah, I kind of feel that way too. All right, five small diamonds, old white gold. Okay, surrounds it. All right, let me focus on it. You can focus with me. I'm going to do my three, two, one breathing. Okay, right away, this is very weird. I saw a lot of thread, pieces of thread. So I can't tell if it's a, like a sewing basket or a place you put your sewing supplies or a place you put sewing supplies, like maybe in a drawer or something by your bedside or something, or if it's actually like a purse or a bag that has threads on the bottom that are just loose. But I saw some threads. That's all I got. Threads. So I would say look in the bottom of any cloth bags that might have some threads in them. Probably older bags, I'm guessing. Coat bags or purses. And if you have a sewing kit or a sewing box or a sewing machine with drawers or anything like that, where there would be threads, please look. You think it fell out of your pocket? Well, that might be why I'm seeing threads. I don't know, but try that. If you still can't find it, come back and ask me again. You're a subscriber, so that's one of the things I offer. Okay. 
All right, back to my list here. I will continue down the list, and then when I have an opening, I'll start again. We only have a couple more people. Kells Bells. What did you want, Kells, tonight? Did you want cards? Do you want a folio, or do you want a song? You're welcome, honey. Let me know. Remember, testimonial. All right. Kells Bells. Hey, Brooke. Cards. You bet. Kells Bells. Let's give her some cards. All right, pulling from this deck that my friend Corinda sent me. She might be on here. I don't know. I haven't seen her yet. Oracle deck. Ooh, you got Owl. I love Owls. That's one of my faves. Pull from my Vintage deck. I know which deck I'm missing. My Moonology deck. Well, that's okay. We won't use that tonight. And my Maps. Enchanted Maps deck. Let's see what we get there. All right. Ooh, you got some exciting cards. Interesting. You got two Owls. Two owls on two different decks. These are all three decks, different decks. Two owls. Do you like owls? Owls are gonna be important to you for some reason. I don't know if you're gonna see an owl, you like owls. Laws of Seven says she could use cards. Yeah, later in a minute, okay? I, there's a list, but I will get you because you're my moderator. You know how that works. All right, kids, Bill. So you got two owls, that's crazy. Yes, you know what I'm talking about with owls? What What does owls mean to you? Because starting out, you got 23, the owl. The two energies about partnerships. The three, you see owls all the time, see? That's your spirit, one of your spirit guides. It's the same, not the owl itself, but the, the fact that you're seeing the owls, that's your spirit guides. All right, the three energies expansion, two plus three is five, means a little struggle perhaps. One of the reasons I like the owls is not just because they can see at night and they're cute and all that. Owls can turn their head all the way around, right? To me, that says there's a lot of perspective you have. You are able to see things from different angles. That's very important in this world. I can't tell you how many times I've solved a problem by looking at, literally physically moving my body and looking at it a different way, right? And sometimes mentally too. 23 is the master manifestation number. Yes, yes, Catherine says. So here's what it says. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. So you're going through some type of transition right now and you are going to see some things that are going to make sense to you spiritually like this. Then what did you get? 22 intention. Are you kidding me? 22 twos have been showing up everywhere. They did that uh, emergency broadcasting thing was supposed to be at two, 222, right? 22s have been huge lately. Partnerships, relationships. Two plus two is four. Stability. Okay? Intention. You got an owl sitting on an egg. There's potential. The owl has that in its mouth to make a wish, that little wishing uh, dandelion you blow, right? So I feel like, yeah, anything that you put out to the universe right now with the right intention, like you absolutely believe 100% is coming to you, girl, it's coming. And then would you get union? Now that's interesting because I said the twos are about partnerships, union. So I feel like there's going to be a person, if they are not already in your life, going to come into your life or someone who's already in your life that's going to show up in your life in a different capacity. They're going to mean something else to you. They're going to help you in some other way or inspire you or push you in that direction. So pay attention to who's showing up in your energy now. Okay. If you feel really good about somebody like that person gets you like, Ooh, that's a person you need to be around. Just telling you, trust that feeling. I love that you got those cards. That's really cool. Yay, so Al's the word for you, my dear. Who, who, who for you. <laughs> I'm a dork. All right, Birdie popped in. Birdie, my favorite. Favorite, not my only favorite, one of my favorites. It makes sense, good, I'm glad to hear that. Feel free to expound on here if you want, as long as you're protecting your identity. Hey, Birdie, which is it? Birdie, would you like Foley cards? or a um, song, let me know. And everybody else is coming up. I got Tia, Deb, and Laws of Seven. Let me know, cards, music, or Foley. Wheel, cards. All right, Birdie, cards for you. I'm gonna use my favorite deck again. I would say everything's my favorite. You ever notice that everything's my favorite? I love everything and everything's my favorite. I'm silly that way. Yes, I'm wearing a wrap. Okay, you know why? Because it's too hot here. It's way too hot. Very hot. So make sure I'm not exposing myself to y'all. <laughs> I forget sometimes, and I've walked out on deck almost naked. Because I forgot. It's hot. And it feels so uh, isolated, you know? I don't think about the fact there's people that could see me. <laughs> Sorry. That works. Okay, so this is for Birdie. Then Tia, then Deb, then Laws of Seven. 
You guys think about if you want a song, Foley, or cards. Birthday, birthday, spirits, ancestors, guides, and energy. Something for Birdie tonight. Anything that'll help Birdie moving forward in her journey. Thank you, spirits, ancestors, guides, energies. I'm saging, y'all. You hadn't noticed. Oh, these cards all show. Okay, we'll use those. Three cards for Birdie. What? All right, Birdie, you got the Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and King of Pentacles. So, Pentacles. Yeah. Okay, so Seven of Pentacles, Seven Energies about connection to higher spirit, higher self. God, universe, whatever you want to call it. Hi, Envy. Um, pentacles, usually career finance or stability. Seven of Pentacles, I kind of feel is one of those things where it's like, stop focusing on material things right now. That's my feeling. Stop focusing on material stuff. Things. Money. Things. I feel like that's not helping you right now. Okay? Four of Swords also. Another four about stability. Swords are truth, ideas, communication. Sometimes marriage. Uh, I kind of feel like you are in some kind of a relationship. It may not be love. It could just be a relationship in general, whether it be work, a friend, someone you live with, someone that's dependent on you. I don't know, but there's money tied to it or finance tied to it. Either you're not leaving or not changing because you're concerned about finance or they're dependent on you or you're dependent on them. I don't know, but there's something going on with your, your finance that makes you afraid to make changes because then we got the King of Pentacles. This dude's sitting on that money like, uh, eh, not sharing. Like, are you paying for shit and then somebody else isn't? I don't know. But Birdie, Birdie, you don't have to pay for stuff you don't want to. Just saying. It's just stuff. You say no. To yourself, too. Okay? So I got for you, Birdie. And you're not a materialistic person. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, though, you worry a lot about that. You're welcome. Okay, Tia's next. Tia, what would you like, sweetie? Do you want a uh, Foley? Do you want a song? Or do you want cards? Cards. Okay. Cards. Let's play some cards. This is for Tia. Miss Tia. Tia and I had a really good, I think they would do some mediumship at one point. I think we did. That was pretty good. If I recall correctly. Ooh, you got some exciting cards. What? This is really weird, okay? Because again, we got two cards that are kind of related. They have to do with fire. Okay, starting out. Oh, all of them have to do with fire. Okay, this is really strange to you. What's going on with you? I've got three cards that relate to fire. All different decks. Just saying. First card, you got spark. Right? That has to do with fire, right? You got spark. Three and four energy. Three energy expansion. Four energy stability. Three plus four is seven. Your higher power self. Universe God. Spark. This talks about that spark in you. That excitement. That thing that speaks to the heart. The thing that makes you... I don't know. Psychic Jennifer, you can get out of my room right now. I don't appreciate that. Do not solicit business on my life. You are going to get blocked right now. You're blocked. Don't ever do that, you guys. Don't ever come in my room and start soliciting business. And Tia, don't, don't answer that person. That's a scam. That's a scam, everybody. Don't allow it. And when we get off this live, if anybody comes to you saying they're me, oh, Grand Rising, I felt something during the... It's not me. It's not me. I never do that. I will never, ever private message you for reading. Just so you guys know, please do not fall for it. Report block right away. Okay. Moving on with the reading. So you got spark to start out with, Tia. Then you got fire. Number 10. The one energy is a new beginning. Zero energy means open. Everything's open. One plus zero, you get one again. This is a new phase in life. It says let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Okay? So any emotional stuff that's going on for you right now, Tia, you got to put it aside because guess what? Right now, the here and now, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Because then we got topaz. And literally, this is to increase, like it says right here on the bottom of this card, increase your firepower. Again, the word fire shows up again. Here's what it tells you. This is when action needs to happen. You use this. This is to give, literally, to spark you to go in the right direction. So Tia, what I feel like as I'm reading this, there's something in your life where you just really need to let it go. I don't know why you keep hammering this situation over and over thinking it's going to change. It ain't changing. 
Matter of fact, I feel like you've been dealing with this situation for years, maybe, or at least what feels like years, because you're so emotionally wrapped up. Got to step back. What if your best friend told you the same story? What would you tell her? Right? You got to get that perspective. Pull back. This is one life. You don't get a dress rehearsal. Stop wasting your time and energy on people who don't appreciate you, Tia. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Everybody watching, stop it. You don't owe shit to anybody. I don't care if it's your own kid. You don't owe anybody. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. That's all I'm going to say. All right. That was for Tia. Deb, are you still here, Deb? Here, Deb? What did you want? Cards, Foley, song. Hi, Ambie. I'll get you, Ambie. She's a subscriber. Deb. Deb wants cards. Come here, Deb. We're going to do tarot with you, Mom. Mama. I didn't call you, Mom. Say Mama. Sorry. Sound like I was calling I don't even know. I know nothing about you except for whatever I've done in the past year with you, and I probably don't remember that either. You guys got to remember, I can't remember everything I do on here, you guys, especially when I'm in my mode. I don't. A lot of this just goes right over me. I go back and watch these later, and I go, what? I said that? Wow. And I do upload these on YouTube, you guys. So if you watch this and you miss something or you want to rewatch your read or whatever, just go to YouTube. I usually have it up in the next 24 hours as best I can. I also have a playlist of the uh, musical mediumship on Spotify. It's in my link tree on here. Go to my link tree, you guys, to find all kinds of cool stuff. Whoa, Deb, you had two cards flip themselves over before I even got started. One more card for Deb, please. Spirits. Oh, there we go. Okay, wow. Wow. All right, starting out King of Cups. Cups are love relationships. This guy holds his emotions very close to himself. He is emotional, but he doesn't show it very often. Kind of makes me feel like someone's holding back something for me, Deb. Because then we get right after that. Everything's sticking to me. Did you see that? Seven of Swords. Thanks for all the gifts, by the way, guys. Seven of Swords. This is someone kind of being sneaky, keeping something themselves, not telling. I don't know if you're the one or the other person, but somebody's kind of keeping how they feel about something to themselves. Because weirdly, then we get the Five of Swords. Look at that. Also, holding those swords close. One person feels out in the cold. The other person's holding all the, all, the, all the cards, so to speak. So somebody, I don't know if it's you or somebody else, is not being completely open about something right now. I'm sure you know this, what I'm talking about. If it isn't you, you feel it. It's time to call that person out. I really think it is. Say, you gotta, you gotta be straight with me. What are you doing? I feel like that. Yeah, somebody promised you, or, or I don't know. Somebody's not being truthful. I, I, there's just too many. I hate saying stuff like, too many cards tell me. Someone's hiding. It feels like a male energy. I could be wrong, but mm, don't like it. You got to call this person out. That's what I feel. Sorry, Deb. But do it. Do it. Do it soon. All right. It's detrimental to you and your health, your, your well-being. All right. Laws of seven. Laws of seven. What, what would you want, sweetheart? You want a card, right? Let's just go with the traditional tarot for laws of seven. Amanda Lee says, hi, Amanda here. When I heard you say mama, I smile as my grandbaby's calling me. Aww. Cards, you bit. My moderator gets cards. And Laws of Seven in herself is also a medium, I believe, aren't you? Laws of Seven, you're also intuitive, so you can follow her too. Hey, Seth, how are you? Ooh, new name, finally free. What does that mean? Finally free, I like it. Yeah, so guys, if you want to follow Laws of Seven, she's also intuitive. She may have some things in store for you too. I think she has great content. You guys should check her out. All right. Spirits, ancestors, and guides. My memoir? Oh, wow, Seth. I can't wait to read it. Is it going to be on Amazon? All right. This is for Laws of Seven. Amanda. Ooh, guess what you got? Can you guess what your first card is? I'm curious. Oh, look at that. Thank you, lovely. That was cute. A little lights. That was really nice. Thank you. Scorpio, what does that mean? All right, Laws, are you here? I just asked you a question. What do you think your first card is? I'm just curious if you can pick it up. Girl on the internet, got it. Girl on the internet, got it. Got death. And you're like, why are you smiling at death? 
I'm not afraid of death. I think death's good. It means a new phase. Things are changing. It means the end of something you're tired of. Right? Yeah, you said thank God. Correct. Yes. You do read. Well, you were right. Unless you saw it. I, mean, I don't care either way. Coolio. Um, so you got death. There's definitely a big change in store for you. Uh, something's about to change, but you gotta walk away. Gotta walk away from something, dear. You know how that works. You bring one thing in, you, you lose one, you, you get it. You, you know, it's a back and forth. Cups, love, fulfillment, relationships. A energy is action. You gotta take a step into the right direction, dear. It feels like, like you're holding yourself back. I don't know why. I don't know why you're doing that. Rip the band-aid, girl. Three cups, you're gonna be celebrating in the end with your colleagues and friends. You have support, you have support. So don't be afraid to make the decision. Just do it. You think you're missing something? Okay, well, if you were missing something, what would it be? If you thought you were missing something, what would it be? Stefani, of course. I said it wrong up. <laughs> All right, dear. You don't know what move to make. You do the one that feels the best to you. What the one that feels the best. Period. Sure, girl. What's your first name? I seen your first name. Okay. So going on. MB. She's next. She's a subscriber. She gets a gods. MB. MB. Ooh, you got Argonite, Ar Aragonite, Aragonite. It's not Aragonite, Aragonite. That's an unusual card. Oh, this is for centering you, my darling. Look at that card. Isn't that beautiful? I love that one. It's for centering yourself, MB. Um, this is when you're med trying to meditate. You're trying to center. You're trying to wusa, right? And then we got flying. So in order for you to be able to free yourself up, you're going to have to do this centering thing. You got to meditate. You got to be present for just a moment. And when I say meditate, it doesn't mean like I'm, I'm doing this for you right now. MB. pay attention, dear. I picked out a Ragonite for you to center you. And I just talked about you flying. Okay, in order for you to get to that point where you feel freedom again, you have got to be able to be present. You are too busy up in your head right now. Cards, I had a rough day. Yeah, yeah, you're up in your head. Let it go. How important is it really in the scheme of life? What chapter of the book, How is it even worth a chapter? Is it a page? Is it a paragraph? Is it a sentence? That's what I want you to say to yourself. Was today a chapter, a page, a paragraph, a sentence, a word? How big, how important in the book of life is what happened, right? Center yourself. Last card for you. Ooh, you got snake. Number two and eight. Two energy is about partnerships. Eight is action. Two plus eight is ten. New beginnings, end of a phase. Here's what it says. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. Okay, well, that makes sense. What I say? Centering, centering, centering. In order to trust your intuition, use your healing powers. Find your path and be careful. You gotta be able to focus in on your higher self. Whatever it takes. God, the wind is starting to pick up my cards are flying right. <laughs> By the way, guess what I saw today? Yesterday, guys. Hey, thanks for that, Courtney. Yesterday I was sitting up on the um, trampoline area. We had dolphins. I posted. I got them on camera, luckily. And then today I didn't get my camera in time. I saw a turtle. A huge water sea turtle flapping his he literally flapped his uh, fin at us, his flipper. Oh, thanks for the confetti, Courtney. Cassie said, did you by ever chance figure out what the song for me was? She says, yes. Yes, I did, Casey. And I put, or Cassie, and I put it on the playlist. It's called Candy, K-A-N-D-I. I I know that, that that's why I was confused because the title doesn't match the song. It's called Candy, K-A-N-D-I. Um, you'll hear it. I know you'll know the song. It's from the 90s, I think. Late 90s, early 2000s. You're welcome. Okay. That was for MB. Now we got Stephanie. Or Stefani? Is it Stephanie or Stefani? Stephanie, I'm gonna guess. <gasps> card just flew off the table. Was that for Stephanie, that card that flew off the table? I bet you it was. Hold on, let me get the card I just dropped. Stefani, you got a card. 
We got citrine. That's what just fell off the table. The wind blew this off, right? No, Tony Basil did not sing I Want Candy. No, wrong. Tony Basil, Basil sang Mickey. I Want Candy is Bow Wow Wow and Annabella sang that. Just so you know. All right, back to this. So this is for Stefani. You got citrine. This is for manifesting your masterpiece. So you are in a creative mode also. Uh, this is somebody who has a big idea, a big dream, something big. This way comes for you. Um, I don't know if it's just something you've fantasized about or you're actually working on it yet, but let's see what other cards come out for you. That one just flew on the floor right when I was getting ready to pull your cards. I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to pull a tarot card for you. So I just pulled an oracle. I pulled the, the crystal card. This card wanted to come out. Oh, interesting. This, this makes sense. I'm going to pull one more oracle card for you. What's up, Roxy? The dogs are here. They're sweating to death. Whew, it's hot. Yeah, this, this reading totally flows. You're going to lose your mind when you see this. Okay, so like I said, you got this citrine talking about manifesting your ma masterpiece. Then we get Four of Cups. This card is about not missing an opportunity. See how he's looking at these other cups when this one comes from Spirit right here? Trying to hand him this cup, like, hey, I got fulfillment for you. And he's like, no, I'm looking over here. Please, every time you, ca you catch yourself going, that happened to me before, I've done that before, I've tried that. Don't do that. This is different. Don't allow that to stop you from your manifestation. She says, I'm working on a big goal. Yeah, I can tell. And guess what you got from your guides? Encouragement. Five and four energy. Five energy is about conflict sometimes. Sometimes just shift, change. Four energy is about healing and stability. Five plus four is nine. That's resolution. So you're about you're about there. That close. To actually seeing it to show up for, for you in your life. Whatever it is you're working on. Um, yeah, I, I don't see anything you need to be concerned about. I feel like you are so on the right path. And if you're seeing 1111 a lot, I would not be surprised. Thank you for that, Courtney. That was cute. I've never seen that before. 1111, um, you're going to see a lot of 1111. And you might see numbers in sequential order, like 1, 2, 3, 4, like 1234, or 234, or 5, you know, you know, or 456, or something like that. Yeah, you said you are. Okay. Yeah, you're going to start seeing that's just telling you you're going the right way, you're going the right way, you're going the right way. Just so you know. So say thank you, guides, when you see that stuff. All right, now we got girl on the net. Whoops, these cards are flying around. We have to put something down here. We've got wind going bonko. Okay, guys, sorry, i got to make paperweights here with whatever's. <laughs> hey, beautiful soul, welcome in, honey. Funny you say that, says Courtney Lynn, that literally been seeing 11, 11, and 444. I've been seeing 444 a lot. Um, 333 is always the one I see. Fours are about stealing, healing and stability. 11s mean right path. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people are. We're awakening, you guys. We're going into a new dimension. You wanna talk about that? We'll talk about that next. I'm gonna read for girl and then we move on. Is girl still here? Girl on the net? I just need your first name, honey. There you are. Can tell you're actually, oh, thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not on vacation. Well, I am all my life. I'm on vacation every single day. I love my occupation. Hey, hey. I'm on vacation. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm on a boat. I live on a boat now. So I'm on vacation all the time. How cool is that? In Miami right now. All right, girls. Girl in the net. What did you want? Did you want me to find a lost item? Did you want me to pull cards? Or did you want me to find a musical mediumship for you? And your first name too, please. Waiting. G E N W. I don't know what that is. My name is Marina. Can you do a general read? Yeah. Sure. No worries. Marina. And I'm I'm in a marina. It's okay. It happens all the time. No worries about it. We do our best. She says, sorry, I was typo. It's okay. Anyway, it happens. All right, Tay, let's get you. That's funny. You hear the wind whipping around? You guys, it's really getting windy. Is it raining, Fred? You can't hear me. Anyway, here we go. 
This is for you, Marina. Spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies. Cards today to help Marina. Anything will help her in her path moving forward. Three of Swords. Whoa. Four of Swords. I was going to say, if I get five of Swords, I'm going to lose my mind after I just talked about sequential numbers. That's funny. Okay. So, you got two Swords and then the Sun. Swords are about ideas, communication, the truth. Uh, Start out three swords. This has to do with a disappointment. Okay, I, I know you know what these cards mean, probably. You may, you may have different meanings, and that's okay. I, I am an intuitive reader. So if you're a reader and you're watching, you go, that's not what that card means. I don't care what you think the card means. This is what it means to me when I'm seeing it. Right now at this very moment at 8.43 Eastern Time on October 11th. That's how it works for me. All right. I'm going to stick it in. Three of swords. Okay, this is regret. This is something that, that bums you out. Didn't like how it turned out. Not your favorite thing. It wasn't a good time. But your next card, you got the Four of Swords, which tells me that you're healing from it. You've taken a break. If you haven't taken a break, you need to take a break. But this is saying, yeah, after that whole thing, you really, you had to take a break. I don't know if it was a relationship. I don't know if it was a job. I don't know if it was sickness. But you had to take a break. If you haven't done that yet, you need to. I'm just telling you. A lot of pain and grief, yeah. Okay, but look what you got. The sun, I love that. Happy, happy times are ahead, I promise you. Clarity, it will make sense to you soon. Um, I also, the thing that's standing out to me the most on this is this red banner right here. See that red unfurling banner right there? Red flag. You know how many times I've looked at this card and I never paid attention to that? Till just now. Red flag. Now that's why I'm gonna say this to you. See a red flag, it's not a circus. It means go the other way. I feel like you get red flags. You are intuitive and you ignore them. I did that my whole life. And when you're intuitive and you ignore the signals, guess what? Your spirits go, wah, 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 wah. When all they're trying to do is give you a gentle, okay? So it is a warning. It's a warning to you to see when the energy feels bad, go the other way, get away from it, please. Don't go, oh, there's a circus, it's a red flag. No, you'll know, you'll know. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if you see red flags, like physical red flags. Now, whether it be on television, you drive by a flag that's red, you see it on a commercial, on a cartoon, I don't know, you're going to though. Yeah, especially with mediumship and tarot lately. Yeah, and sometimes, I don't know what, what's going on with you, but sometimes taking a break is important too. There's times where I just can't get it together as far as mediumship or ter whatever. Like it doesn't feel right and I get really upset. And then I remind myself, take a break. I'll take a few days off, maybe sometimes weeks, depending on what's going on. And then all of a sudden, man, I'm on it. So sometimes it's hard for us as for what we do as, as intuitives. We want to help people. That is what we're born to do. And when we're not helping people, we don't feel good. So we push ourselves. Sometimes we got to remember, we all, part of work is rest, right? Part of our day, we sleep. We have to. Right? Okay. You got it. All right. Um, I'm only going to stay on until about 9 o'clock. So with that in mind, we're going to switch gears, guys. Um, and we are going to jump into some discussion about some interesting things. So one thing we want to talk about is what's happening in the world and the timelines and so forth. Now, I had a, I call it a feed or a download uh, the other night, and then no sooner did I get this download. Hi, Sam. Um, I came on TikTok, and somebody else was talking about the exact same thing. And then I scrolled through, and a couple other intuitives were talking about the same thing. So I know I'm on the right track. Hey, is it raining or just windy? It's windy. Ooh, it's windy, huh? And it's sticky as heck in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to drink some water. Drink some water, man. Drink some water. Okay, doke. So, the download I got was this. Yes, there's a lot of scary shit happening. We all know that. I predicted a lot of this a long time ago. I already knew it was coming. Whatever. Yes, it's detrimental to humanity. But here's the thing. And it's very confusing if you don't understand this stuff. I'm still learning it myself. We're in a lot of dimensions. We're multidimensional. You are, I am, everybody is. Yes, you're right, girl. We're all multidimensional. It's not just one Molly. Matter of fact, you're watching a different dimension of Molly, right? I'm one dimensional to you. You can only see my front through the camera. The, the me you're watching is not me. I need this. 
that I'm smacking is me. What you're seeing is an image of me. So that's a different dimension, right? We have a lot of dimensions, okay? We live in a 3D dimension, meaning we can see the front and the sides. Top, you know, like, kind of an idea, right? There's fourth dimensions, fifth dimensions, seven, you know, all these dimensions, right? We all, we have so many realities that they seem fake. But here's what's happening. With all the negative, scary, freaky stuff going on, you know, like, like the Ukraine and Russia and, you know, all the stuff we're finding out about our politicians and all that, you know, all this upheaval, right? What we have to focus on is what we call thin, fifth dimension resonance. That's what I'll call it. Fifth dimension is you create your reality with your thoughts and your belief. Now that's always been the case, but even more so now. So if your reality is the world stinks, everything sucks, everything's expensive, everybody's mean, that guess what? That's what you that will be the dimension you will experience, which right now is a very heavy third dimension. Okay? But if you choose to believe in the be in the present moment more than anything else, be in the present moment more than anything else, where you are right now and you appreciate it. And then you say, my reality is the world is a kind place. My reality is that everything is getting resolved as I speak. My reality is I'm as healthy as I've ever been and I'm thriving in this world. It's not affirmations. Affirmations are just words. This is belief. I truly believe every choice I make is the right choice. If it feels like the wrong choice, it's right. You know why? Because I'm being guided all the time by my higher self, my spirit guides, whatever you want to call them, God, I don't care. Intuition, gut, jack in the box. I don't give a crap what you call it. I'm always making the right decision and things always work out for me. It wasn't always the case. I didn't always feel that way. I believe that now. If you can get your mindset where you know, not guess, not hope, not wish, you know that your reality will be exactly what you want it to be. And you physically feel the emotion. Emotion is energy plus motion. E-motion. If you have the feeling, what? So if your dream was to live on a boat like mine was, I imagine what it was like to live on a boat. Is it like what I imagine? Not really. Not really at all. But what I feel inside, the feeling, the emotion I have living on this boat, pure bliss for me. Happy as I can be. I'm sweaty, I'm sticky, I've been working my ass off, and I love it. I love the boat. Not for everybody. It's not your dream. And I don't want it to be your dream. I want your dream to be your dream. Right? I personally wouldn't want to fly an airplane. That doesn't interest me. But I know some people that's exciting. Jumping out of an airplane? Yeah, I'd do that. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Bruce, what are you doing? Bruce. My dog is making a pillow bed over here. <laughs> Look at him. He made like a pillow bed over here. He took like every pillow on the couch and he like stacked up. You guys should see him. He's so cute. Let me see. I can show you guys what he looks like. He's so cute. Sorry, it's kind of messing here. You guys got to see him. Look at him. Can you see him over there buried in the pillows? He's so cute. And Roxy's right here. Let me see your little head right here. He's so cute. So that's what's going on. So I know that sounds probably silly to you guys but honestly that's the deal don't focus on that stuff i'm not saying we shouldn't care about other people i do 100 percent i i'm and i'm jewish okay for an upbringing I, i'm not religious but grew up in a jewish family and i'm very good friends with some people that live in israel and it's very upsetting to me to see what's going on it really is but do i want to focus on it can i do anything from here no i cannot all i can do is set the example of what i want to see in the world and that's what you do Girl on the internet says, do you do live mediumship reads? Yes, I do. Uh, I wasn't going to do it tonight, though. Can you share your thoughts on if the USA will be safe, if not understand fully? Again, my thought is if you believe you're safe, you will be. If you believe something bad's going to happen, it will. Do I think something might happen here? Yeah. Honestly, I do. Do I think we're going to catch it before it gets too bad? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Extraterrestrials will not let them nuke us, you guys. They will not let it happen. Our ancestors will not let them nuke us. So if that's what you're asking, no, not here. Oh, you don't have to pay, sweetie. 
We'll do it. I'm just not doing it tonight. It's too sticky and hot. I, I'm too distracted. I can't. I mean, I did some stuff, but you know. Yeah. No, absolutely, girl. I'd love to do it for you. Anyway, Marina. Um. So that's where we are now. What about a war? What about it? We're always at war, you guys. When have we not been at war? We're at war all the time. And you know what's so stupid? Not once can I think in, in, in the entire history of, of the world has war ever made, made sense. You know why I say that? We talk. We communicate. There's no reason for people to be killing anybody over anything. I don't care if it's a piece of land. I don't care if it's a woman or a man or a child or, or a car or an airplane. I don't give a crap. Okay. The point is there's no reason for war. Our country sets up wars on purpose. They plan these wars way before anything happens. You don't believe me. I don't care. It's true. The Rockefellers are responsible. I think it's Rockefellers. No, the Rothschilds are responsible for what's happening right now in Israel. You can think the Rothschilds. Look it up. For entertainment purposes only. For entertainment purposes only, as Fred says. I know I'm entertaining. Do you usually come on every day and is it at a certain time? Camellia, no. I'm very bad about scheduling lives because I never know what my schedule is going to be and if I'm going to have time. Girl Internet says, I feel like there's fake propaganda and money fraud too. Really? No. Really? No. I have a question for you guys. Does anybody know what comes after a trillion? I don't. Do you know any numbers after? Is zillion a real number? What comes after trillion? A hundred trillion. Because I think our government's going to have to come up with a new word now. Don't you? For a debt? For anything. Because now we've gone from spending millions to billions to trillions. Quadrillion. Oh, yeah. That's funny because your name's trifecta effect. <laughs> Ironic. Quadrillion. Okay, quadrillion's next. So when are we going to owe quadrillions now? And they just keep printing it up. Print, 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 print. Money's not even a real thing, you guys. Money's an energy. Think about it. Unless you have physical cash in your hand, which even that doesn't have value. It's a piece of paper. It only has value if somebody knows what it is, right? A dollar bill. If I took a dollar bill to Zimbabwe and walked up to a native and said, here, I want a, I want a coconut, they're going to look at me like... What is that? A piece of fucking paper? Right? Zillion, says Monica. So that's what I'm saying to you guys. It's, it's like, if you think that we have a real economy that makes sense, that works, no. The way things are designed is because somebody wants it that way. And the way things are designed is so the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. But you know what? We don't have to buy into that. We don't. That's a third dimension thinking, right? We don't think that way. Guess what? There's plenty for everyone. If every single person in the United States wanted to be a millionaire, there would still be plenty. Just telling you guys, there's no competition. That's an illusion we have. Kelsey, any exercise you recommend been especially helpful for strengthening your intuition psychic muscle? Yes. Journaling, believing everything that happens, happened. Don't go, oh, that's weird. Oh, that's a coincidence. I think I was right. Don't do that. Don't, no doubt. My slogan, know that you know. Say, I know that I know. I know that I know. I know that I know. That's something I, I think about when I meditate. Know that I know. Know that I know. Good time we're little kids, we're taught to doubt ourselves. Right? Don't doubt yourselves. You're never wrong. You trust yourself. But again, the design is doctors know, lawyers know, teachers know, the president knows, your local council person knows, you don't know, you do. Trust yourself, question, ask, try it. So what if people think you're weird? So what? Who cares? Who cares? Just thoughts. Can you explain what journaling is? Yeah, sure. All journaling is is writing down whatever comes to mind. Yeah. I also say be intuitive about being intuitive. Don't hear that. I'm going to caution you guys. Now, I do mentor. Okay, I do mentor people if they want me to. 
and I'm not trying to advertise it, but what I want to say to you guys is be very cautious of people telling you you have to do things a certain way or people telling you you have to pay me to help you do this thing to take a curse or to uh, you have to buy 100 sessions or I won't work with you. I mean, if you want to do that, that's where you have to have a certification. That's up to you. I don't care about that stuff. All I care about is, am I helping people with the work that I do? Whatever way it comes through. And you guys know I have a lot of modalities. Okay, so what journaling is, is you write down what's on your mind, what you feel. If you have nothing to write, write about your day. Just brain dump. Many reasons. One is to keep records. So if something unusual did happen that you think might be paranormal or psychic, please write it down so you can validate. You have a premonition or an idea about something, write it down. You think you heard something, write it down. Because guess what? And make sure you put a date because a few weeks later you might find it. it happened. And then all you do is go, oh, I thought of that. And people go, yeah, sure you did. But if you wrote it down, there's your valid. You validate yourself. Okay? Also shows patterns. When you go back and read your journals and you see you keep complaining about the same thing or talking about the same thing, it's helpful to your mental health, physical health, every health, right? Um, write down what you did that day. Maybe you'll you'll go back and go, God, I could have done that differently. And and then write out how you want. It's it's your canvas to write whatever you want. But I really encourage you to use a pen and paper and let it flow. Okay? And the other reason is when you write everything down that's on your mind, if you're angry, if you're silly, if you're sad, happy, whatever, I don't care. You're putting the energy on the paper. It clears your mind. It's almost like a meditation. So if you're not good at meditation, this is a really good thing to do clears your mind. My memory is so much better when I write my journal because I don't have to think about stuff. I've written it down, especially emotional things. Melissa says, I see dead people. What does that mean? Well, what do you think it means? It means you see dead people. You're seeing spirits just like I do. So what? A lot of people do. There's no meaning. You just see it and other people can't. So People in here that say, I'm not psychic, I don't see spirits, doesn't mean there's no spirits around you. Just because you can't see it does not mean it's around you. You can't see gas, you can't see propane fumes, but they're around you, they'll kill you, right? You got spirits around you all the time. So if you see them, that just means you see them. Nothing wrong with that. You feel safe here, you should. I'm not here to judge you, but I'll be honest. Sometimes people don't like me because I'm very honest. How am I helping you if I just pet you? Oh, you're so nice. Don't worry. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So, Siberia. Wow. Somebody's watching me from Siberia. Wowzers. Melissa says, I can communicate with my dad. Well, that's wonderful. That's amazing. Yay. I love it. You, everybody can. Everybody can. You can communicate with anyone you want. Anytime, you guys. Anytime. You never lose that connection. You hear him talk to you. That's great. Good. Excellent. That's, that's how it should be. That's how it can be for a lot of people. Really anybody if they really want it. Anyway, guys, it's about 9 o'clock. I'm hot. I'm tired. Wow. Blah, blah. I love you all. Stay in the fifth dimension. Peace out. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow night, uh, Friday night, something like that. Everybody have a wonderful evening. Thank you for your patience. If I didn't get to read for you tonight, catch me next time. If you're a subscriber, that's the first people I go to. So just remember that. It's only 10 bucks. Big whoop. All right, guys. Love you. Everybody have a good night. Peace out. This will be uploaded to YouTube. If you want to watch, listen to the Spotify playlist I made up with all the musical mediumship, that is on my link tree at the bottom. Hit the green globe looking thing. I never ask you for readings. If anybody ever asks you for a reading, uh, saying they're me, it is not. Please reject them. I have 30,000 followers almost. Double check to make sure it's me. I only have that account and one other account that's a backup. Miss Molly knows underscore 333. That's it. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Linktree, LinkedIn, um, Facebook. I have a private group on Facebook. You guys are welcome to join the Foucault clan. All that good stuff. All right. Remember, tonight was for entertainment purposes only. Love you all. Bye. Off I go.